Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your guest host, Dante, and you're watching The Hot Zone. I had a really good time. Me too. I keep waiting to get sick of you, and I don't. Oh, that's too bad, because I'm so sick of you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and even though Anna was a little hesitant when it came to being vulnerable, Javi kept surprising her in all the right ways. Well, uh... I have grown this actor, Henry Esteve. I'm so excited to have him. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No problem. So I'm going to start right into it. Um, do you feel grownish or do you feel that you have actually tackled adulting? Uh, I think I am tackling adulting every day. So I'm <laughs> probably grownish, but it's a, it's a process. <laughs> I get you. Me too. I don't feel like I'm, I'm 27. Um, I, what, yeah. What actually? I had to go to the washing floor yesterday because I couldn't do laundry. <laughs> I love that. Now that's that's a great response. Yes. What attracted you to the role of Javi? Uh, there was a bunch of things. I think one, I really appreciate the way Grownish tackles just current day issues and just the topicalness of it, and they do it really lighthandedly, which is fun. Um, Javi himself is a Cuban from Miami, and I there isn't many of us on TV. So that, you know, the chance to play sort of a lot of someone similar to a lot of the dudes I grew up with was just exciting. I haven't really gotten to do that. Yeah, because representation is key. And I love that that was your response because there aren't many uh, Latinos like on the television who can actually represent for the Cuban community. Um, so, what roles do you feel throughout your life, because you have very an extensive resume, have shaped you to play Javi or even be in that mindset of the character that he brings? They all add something. There, there's, I have this thing where I say, if, if I'm not learning about myself while I'm acting, then I'm not doing a good job. So it's hard to answer, but each one has, has given me something. And whether that's like momentary and I forget it, you know, a year down the line, everything has kind of added to where I'm at right now. Yeah, I love that. And were you fearful or have any like nerves going into a cast that was already stable, who already had a connection? For sure, I did it, I did it before. Uh, Revenge was, was like my first job ever and they were in season three. That was my show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I loved that show. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and Revenge was also like, so the Grownish cast is similar, but Revenge was such a tight knit group and they were like, they, they would hang out together so much off screen. So I think that was a little more daunting even to come into that. Uh, and it, I'm sure it being my first job was part of it. Grownish, not as much. I had some friends, I had met uh, some of the writers already and I like, I knew people enough that it was pretty comfor comfortable to come in and they were super welcoming, everybody on set. Yeah, speaking of like such a tight knit community on set, um, like you said, and you touched on earlier, that Grownish really covers and hits really heavy conversations, but makes them really like human and light. What have you taken away from the cast or even your role as Javi yourself, Henry? So I'm a pretty strong-minded liberal in a lot of, in basically everything. Uh, so trying, it, it has made me be more open-minded to the idea of people um, having different political views and not necessarily being different as human beings. Uh, and, and, you know, there's lines to draw, right? Like there's, a difference between like certain uh, far right ideas and then just like Republican ideas and even far left ideas and just uh, more moderate uh, Democrats. But that has been a big one with Javi and, and playing someone that has such different political views than I do has been, uh, has been fun, finding ways to say certain things. Yes, uh, he really is. He a uh, really big political like stance. I love how they shape his character. Your character is very interesting for the most part. And 
Yeah, I feel like him and Anna have a very um, dope dynamic. But do you feel like in some ways your character may persuade or force things on in that relationship? <laughs> Are you talking about the abstinence? I am, I am. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I don't think he meant to be like, yo, you need to be abstinent too. And I think he was scared of the idea of like telling somebody this before they're ready to, to sort of, before they have enough information to like make a decision on whether they're willing to make a certain sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, Cause like, if she walked away, I don't think Javi would have been mad about like, he, you know, he would have been sad and disappointed, but like, I don't think he would have been like, you're a terrible person because you want to have sex in your relationships. Right, right. But I think he would have been sad. Like, I think for the most part, for like sure. it is such a uh, a breathtaking new relationship for Anna. So I definitely am team Javi. But in your own personal life, Henry, do you feel that you were ever like maybe persuaded or coerced to do something maybe you weren't like familiar with yourself? In relationships? In anything. I'm sure I have been. Uh, I'm trying to think of like an example of it for you. I, I mean, in a lot of things actually, but like an easy one is th there was a point, I don't know, like three, four years ago, three years ago, um, that I was, you know, on the, I was pretty much set on walking away from acting for a while. Wow. And, uh, and got kind of coerced and, and brought back to it by friends and my manager and just people close to me. Aren't you happy? I'm super happy about it. Look that was that. a positive one. I wanted to give you a positive one. I love that. Yes, yes. If there was anything you could change about your character, Javi, what would you change? There is something I would change. Um, I don't want to say it because you, you don't know it yet. And oh. You'll kind of find out as like in a few episodes. Um, but yeah, I, I think his backstory is really interesting. And I just, I hope we get to hear more of it. Yeah. And that's actually, I was going to ask you like, um, because I, I know season four, you guys got cleared for that. I'm kind of wondering, and I, I want to ask you, what do you hope will unfold for Javi or that fans can actually take from him? I want them to, to see what brought him to like the the manner in which he's living his life now and you we definitely touch upon it in the first couple episodes of season four we start next week actually um yes. yeah so i i'm excited for people to see the sort of trajectory of how this dude got to being you know the the way he is and also just being so committed to celibacy and God and like having uh, such a strong faith about him. Yeah. And my last question for you, uh, Henry, is if you could switch places with anyone in your cast, which character would you be? Uh, this goes, I mean, thinking hard he's thinking hard. it's just it's a hard like part <laughs> i really like aaron but i don't want to give people the ammo to have javi want to be here aaron yeah um i also really like ryan destiny's character and that would be like if that just like the the documentarian and just the way she's kind of pushing issues she would be a fun person to play I like that response. It's funny that you said Aaron. Of course you would. <laughs> because he's fun. Like Aaron is just fun. He's always having fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Henry. Hey, I'm Henry Esteve, and you are watching The Hot Zone.